I want to lower the payment cost. Yeah, but still, right. So this is a little good situation here. There's a property that's next door to my man, yeah? It's 190K. He has to put down a 25% deposit, call it 50 grand. Now, he wants to put down 100 grand, which is basically 50%, because he wants to lower his monthly payments. Like, you know, the more you put down as a deposit, the lower your monthly payments, because you're borrowing less. But why not just put down, you know, why not just buy two properties of the same value? So get two properties that 190 or 200 grand and put down two 25% deposits. Yeah, that will be your 100 grand. Now you've got two properties that are making you money. So if I was you, I would do that. Don't, don't put down 100 grand on one property. Put down 50 grand on two separate properties and have two properties making you money. That way you've got two properties that are going up in value. Let's say after five years, the property goes up in value by 50 grand. So that 190, that 200 grand property, in five years, it will be worth 250, for example. Well, why not have two properties that are going to be worth 250 a piece in five years? No property investor would do what you do, what you, would do what you're planning to do. None. No Samuel Lees, no Rob Moore, no Ahmed Khan, bigger all of them. If they had 100 grand, and they could choose to put down on one property or two, they would always pick two. I don't even know them and I'm speaking for them. 